the Senate Committee on County Public Accounts and Investment had summoned Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko to shed more light on the Auditor General's report for the 2017-2018 financial year that cited the county government as insolvent. Sonko, however, claimed that the unfavorable because he did not yield to the 100 million shillings bribe the officers from the Auditor General's office had demanded. There were so many censures involved when the editor was auditing us. And uh, some of the responses were there on time. But Mr. Chair, this is a deal gone sour between the auditors and some of the officers we inherited from the previous administration who believe corruption cannot be fought in Nairobi City County. The Moses Kajuang led committee also took Sonko to task over an achievement of only 41% in revenue collection in the last two financial years and the allocation of a partially 6% of its budget to development. It is indeed true that you did not perform uh, as well as uh, the previous uh, government did in its final year. Uh, of course, you have given the mitigating circumstances. So it, it, it's a matter of concern for those of us who live in Nairobi and those wh whom you support and those who vote for you that 2017-2018, uh, the revenue was not much more than what had been collected before. In his defense over dwindling revenue, Sonko cited Seven Star Limited, a company owned by Nairobi Senator Johnston Sakaja, as among the huge rate defaulters with arrears totaling 40 million. Uh, a company by the name of Seven Star Media Limited, which is uh, 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 putting up billboards and street poles in Nairobi City County. Case number one, which I'll need your, 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 your indulgence. This company has put over 800 street poles in Nairobi City County. But the declaration which this company has made is half the number of the billboards. <laughs> Yeah.